and welcome to Children's Art Classes. I'm Stephanie Larson, CEO of CAC Franchising, and I would love to give you a tour of our Bay Meadows location studio in Jacksonville, Florida. Come on in. Inside here, this is our main drawing studio. We have enough room for 24 students, even though our classes, we only take 12 at a time. We have it set up with our whiteboard, and our color wheel and all of our elements of design posters above because we use those quite a bit while we're teaching. If you turn behind, we have all of our supplies that are used in different lesson plans that we teach. We use clear bins so we can see quickly and everything is labeled in order to keep everything organized. Towards the back of the studio, we have our library of books and in the library we have resources like artist books and how-to books and a lot of the books that we use that children will use um, photographs inside your studio you will have a special spot just for your still life display in art one the students will work on a still life for several weeks so you want to have a designated area doesn't have to be anything fancy but a place to set up your still life with a spotlight above. Let's take a look at our clay room. Follow me this way. Welcome to our clay studio. It's important that you have two spaces in your studio, one for drawing and one for clay. Clay tends to get a little bit dirty and dusty, so we like to keep the projects that are dirty and dusty away from the drawing projects. Um, this location, we actually utilize both studios at the same time, so we use our clay projects back here when we're doing those types of lessons. We have more shelving in uh, the clay studio because we have more bins. Lots of storage is necessary in your studio as you accumulate more supplies. Over here we have our workbench. Go. In your studio it's important to have a workbench or a work table that houses your paper cutter. Your teacher will be using the paper cutter quite a bit. Uh, we have our glaze storage underneath which is helpful and then you can see towards the back of the studio is your long run of countertop for um, teacher prep area. I would like to show you one more spot in the studio, which is our work area where we have our sink and kiln. And advanced projects happen back here. The bigger, the, the better, and sometimes really messy. So this is an entire area that's dedicated to storage, to messy projects, and our kiln. And the only thing missing on the tour is the bathroom and our work sink, which is used every day for cleaning up art supplies and art materials. I'm really glad that you joined us today. I look forward to answering any questions that you have. Thanks so much.